Hey everybody, I got this Woshin KG935G. Um, I just kind of go over in a few of the uh, functions it has. And this one's kind of cool. When you get it um, factory, I think the backlight, it times out. And then the backlight just goes dark. <clears throat> but this will actually let you set, once the backlight timer goes out, um, it will let you set the... Uh, brightness of the standby display so let's go in here and find backlight so we'll go seven seconds let's see what it goes up to oh, 20 seconds so let's set it like for time's sake <laughs> let's set it to seven seconds timeout and then we'll just see oops yeah okay we want to go back to, let me set this up. Off. Okay. So that's uh, brightness standby mode. So what we'll do is we'll let it time out here and it just goes to black. So when you go to brightness standby and that's function six right there, you go you press menu and then you can go to one through nine I think no nope, I'm yeah ten so ten would be brightest let's try that we we'll have to wait seven seconds I should have put it like two seconds but so we'll see how this looks at ten so that's pretty bright on standby <laughs> that's gonna wear your battery pretty quick pretty quick so let's turn it down to uh, say two and we'll wait till that goes down. I don't like it turning off completely. Yeah, that's pretty good. So two. So that's a kind of a cool feature that lets you um, have the backlight on standby. Or let's go down to even one and see how that is. Maybe that's too low, but we'll see. You know, like your bedside table at nighttime, the lights are out or something or whatever. I don't know. Oh yeah, see, that's pretty good um, when it's dark or bump it up when it's bright. So that's kind of cool. Another thing I wanted to show you is um, one through channels, turn that off, channels one through five or seven, seven are five watts. Those are GMRS frequencies. Um, factory, it comes set to medium power. So you're allowed to transmit five watts. Medium power on this is 4.5 watts. <laughs> so five, uh, excuse me, um, high power would be 5.5. Uh, so they are serious <laughs> about not breaking that five watt rule. But here's the here's the thing. It go, you can go in here, and let's find it here. It comes factory. The one through seven comes factory set. I forget what power is. Sorry. We'll find it here. <laughs> but this is just funny. Half there yeah, they got a half a watt over five watts, so they give you I should have went the other way. Okay, there we go. So transmit power, and I'm on channel one, and it will ch let you change it to high. So now you see the H down here in the corner. And then let's go to channel two, see it. I haven't changed that. It's set to M, which is medium power, 4.5 watts. But you can go in and set it to high. So technically, you're half a watt over that 5 watts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just cracks me up. Um, let's see here. So on the power setting on um, 8 through 14 you can see it's set to low. Those are shared frequencies with GMRS. Let's see if it will let you change, just out of curiosity. See if it'll let you transmit high. I'll let you set it. Let's not do that on camera, but um, yeah, so it'll let you set it at least. 
and <laughs> I don't want to hear about it if someone says I'm breaking the rules, so I'm going to wait till I'm off camera to do that. It's silly. Anyhow, so yeah, 8 through 14 is low power. Technically, you're breaking the rules if you're transmitting on medium or high power on 8 through 14, so be aware. <laughs> and let's see. Oops. 15 through 30. You're allowed up to on the repeater frequencies and those other um, simplex, you're allowed up to 50 watts. So, so yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, let's see here. I've got something else to show you guys. So on scan mode, when you're actually scanning through the frequencies, you go in here, it says C O S E and T O. Um, T O will, when a signal is detected, it stops scanning and it will pause to wait for more activity and then resume, um, after five seconds. CO, when a signal is detected, the scanning stops, it resumes immediately after the signal is lost. So it actually will stay there until the signal um, goes away. SE, when a signal is detected, scanning stops, you've got to press TT and it will transmit on this channel where the signal is detected. So I set mine to uh, TO on this particular one because I want it to stop on a channel and then I can choose to stop scan personally um, with by hand um, and then I can listen or whatever if not it'll continue to scan after five seconds so that's kind of cool so on the Activating the NOAA weather mode, you can program the side buttons. Um, I have this one programmed. Press and hold for weather. So yeah, um, that's the easiest way that I've found to do it. And you press and hold to shut it off. But this also is another way you can do it. You press and hold the band button for two seconds and it'll do it <laughs> and um which is kind of weird so then you can scan through you can press and hold scan and it will scan you can see up here it will scan through the pre-programmed weather channels so that's another way to do it if you want the weather to be able to scan the weather channels so if you go to a new place that's outside of your um, the one, cause I, I'm in the Pacific Northwest It's one, six, two, four thousand. If you're somewhere else and you want to scan the weather, you just have to hit band and then scan. It'll find the, the channel nearest you and then just press and hold band to shut it off. So that's kind of nice. It's a good, good thing to have on these. I use it all the time. Also, let's see, Compander. Um, set that to on. It helps with noise reduction. And then um, one other one I wanted to do here. Oops, did I miss it? Bandwidth, just set it to wide. Oh, come on. There's so many things. Descrambler, um, it'll descramble incoming scrambled. Some GMRS have the options to scramble um, a transmission. You can descramble if you have a descrambler. <laughs> oh boy. Where's the. Oh, gee whiz, I just passed it. So let's turn out to wide. And. We want high power. I like using high power most of the time, unless you're in a really close area, 
say at camp or something or even maybe um around your property or something you you can probably get away with lower medium or even on a little road trip or whatever but um for the most part i like using high power <laughs> what's the point you know um you want to get out there and most of the time i'm i'm needing to use high power to get out there to hit a repeater or some something on simplex and if you if you can't do it with high power then it might be time to set up a base station um, or a good mobile station so i'm hoping in the future to review a couple of these um, gmrs mobile uh, radios and maybe even go over how to set up that and because a mobile station is next level i mean big time next level and you can use up to 50 watts on an external antenna on a on a mobile station um you know and you can even use a mobile radio in your um your shack too your for your base so i'm hoping to do that but if you can't do it with the ht next level is is mobile station and then um next level after that is obviously a base station i think my goal is to get them all the only thing i don't have since i have used ham radio so much is a uh, GMRS mobile, but you can use a mobile, like I said, as a uh, base. And so I'm hoping to review the one I really want to review is the Wotion KG 1000 G that looks legit. And so I'm hoping to do that. So anyhow, thanks for watching you guys. I hope that helps. It's kind of a fun little video going through some of these. This is a great radio and, um, I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and all that stuff and uh, I'm gonna try and do a programming video uh, software programming video of the uh, um, 935 and I downloaded the software already so I'm gonna be doing that pretty quick so and I think I believe it's only PC <laughs> uh, I've heard recently some people are frustrated because they don't have a PC and they don't offer a Mac solution. So I don't really know much about that. So, but at least you're able to program this radio from the front panel. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. We'll catch you later.